Hello and welcome to the final part in this three part opinion piece about the consoles, exclusives and etc. Today we're going to look at Wii U which have had the least amount of games out of, out of the three consoles. And it is kind of weird because it is the on, it is relying on all exclusive games only essentially or and a lot of smaller titles or yeah that is the least. Uh, no, I can't even really remember. I remember at least three, four games. Five. Maybe six. At least five. The first one is Twilight Princess HD. Zelda Twilight Princess. Amazing game, I bought it, played it, I loved it, first time I played through a Zelda game, from start to finish, the console storyline, loved it, recommend it, yeah. This was released in March. Pokémon Torment as well was released in March, it looks interesting, I want to buy it, but too expensive for me, even though it's a fighting game, it's Pokémon, Pokémon are always fun, so yeah. In April they had... Star Fox Zero and Star Fox Guard. I bought the limited edition or first print edition. So I got both in physical form. Uh, I played a little bit of Star Fox Zero. I haven't finished it because I lost interest. We probably finish it sometime, but right now I'm not interested enough to play it. It is the controls are kind of weird, sadly. Star Fox Guard, I haven't even tried. It looks interesting because you have different screens that you look at and you need to set up traps or keep things out. So yeah, it looks kind of interesting, so yeah. Then, I don't remember anything because they don't have almost anything. Uh, the final one is what I remember. Paper Mario Color Splash. This for me was released quietly. I didn't learn much about it. It was just released. And originally I wanted to buy it, but now I don't know. Switch is around the corner. Let's see if they had more releases. This is the first time we look at more releases because I don't have much to say about the video. Uh, Really no, they don't have that much games. Okay, they had Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympics. Don't really care. Looks interesting, but don't really care about it. It was released, I think, in June or July. Uh, yeah, June. Then they had Tokyo Mirage Sessions, hashtag FE, an RPG, looks interesting enough, but I haven't bought it, it was two, only two more games, so it wasn't that much. Sadly, the Wii U are soon gone. They are going moving on to the Switch, which looks interesting. Hopefully, it will have more support. But for you, in my opinion, I had a luck last year. Not much happening. The best game for me had been Twilight Princess, which is a HD remake or HD upress or remaster version of the game. So yeah, we you needed more games essentially, the same as Xbox One. The difference here is that Wii U didn't delay anything, they didn't just didn't have anything, so yeah. Sadly, for me the only one console that I've had this amount of games that have been interesting for me have been PlayStation 4. The other two have been lackluster in my opinion, so yeah. That's all for today folks, hope you like this ones. you will probably hate me for saying thing, these things about Xbox One and Wii U, but... That is my opinions. Until next time, for 
all this stuff. Bye.